Hi, this is Ammon with Ventures Truck Parts. Uh, today we wanted to show you a video on the Ultimate 60 front axle. Uh, this specific axle would fit a Jeep JL or JT pickup. Uh, this is a bolt-in Dana 60 front axle that uh, Dana Spicer's come up with as an upgrade. And we're going to go through some specifications and things that we couldn't find answers to uh, that we tried researching. Uh, hopefully this will be an informational video for you that uh, you can get some information that's not online. The first specification that we couldn't find online that we wanted to talk about was your wheel mounting surface measurement to the opposite side wheel mounting surface measurement. It's a pretty standard measurement, same as some of the old Dana 60s. It's 69 inches. Uh, it is eight on six and a half bolt pattern. So your lug nut uh, bolt pattern is eight on six and a half. The stud size is nine sixteenths. Uh, stud diameter by 18 threads per inch. Uh, it uses a serviceable style wheel hub so you can remove, repack, and reinstall the bearings inside this hub without having to purchase a whole hub assembly. 8 on 6.5 was a very common bolt pattern used on various axles. Uh, Dana 60, 70, 14 bolt rear from the 1970s up to the 2000s. Uh, so this is a really common bolt pattern, really easy uh, bolt pattern to find wheel and tires for. The next thing we wanted to talk about was the diameter of the brakes. Uh, the rotor diameter is 14 inches and it also uses a massive uh, dual piston disc brake caliper in the front. Uh, the next thing we wanted to talk about uh, with the brakes is that it is ABS plug and play. So there's a 52 tooth tone ring pressed onto the back side of the wheel hub and it has a bracket uh, set by it that you can uh, uninstall and reinstall your original ABS sensor off of your axle you're removing out of your JL or your JT and it will make it a plug and play ABS system. You don't have to reprogram your ECU or any of your ABS components. The Ultimate Dana 60 front uses Warren's Premium Locking Hub 35 Spline. The knuckle design is really uh, a good design that Dana's come out with. Uh, it has the high steer arm already set up on the passenger side for crossover steer. Uh, instead of the drag link coming in and steering off of your tie rod itself like a lot of setups do, this has a solid tie rod from end to end in between the steering knuckles and a separate arm for your drag link coming up to your pitman arm. Uh, it is cast and bolted into uh, the steering knuckle itself and it's a very solid uh, strong design. The axle tube diameter is three and a half inches and the wall thickness is three eighths inch. All of the axle brackets on the Ultimate 60 axle are uh, made from quarter inch plate. The axle shafts included in the Ultimate Dana 60 front are 4340 nickel chromoly axle shafts and they are 35 spline outer and inner axle shafts. The Ultimate 60 front axle uses a massive 1550 series U-joint. Uh, we, stay tuned later on in the video we'll have a comparison between some parts and you'll see the size difference between your standard Dana 44 U-joint in the axle you removed versus this Ultimate 60 axle as long as a com as well as a comparison uh, to a Dana 60 U-joint 1480 series to the Ultimate 60 U-joint which is 1550 series. 1550 series U-joints should allow you to get a higher degree of steering angle as well over a 1480 series U-joint. The new center section has been slimmed down as much as possible. You can see that you've got uh, great ground clearance with this new design. Uh, included with this new center section is the uh, new designed diff cover as well. This is a nodular iron uh, front heavy duty ribbed uh, differential cover. The Ultimate Dana 60 has a new center section for this axle as well, the cast center section here. It has your upper link mounts uh, cast in as part of the center section. Uh, it also has uh, multiple ports. So you have a port for the electronic e-locker. You also have a port for an ARB air locker and a vent uh, tube port here for an axle tube vent that will go up into your engine bay. You can see here in the housing casting that this is a high pinion housing, gives you a lot of good ground clearance. Uh, also high pinion gives you a great uh, input from your front drive shaft for a low angle on your uh, front drive shaft from your transfer case to the axle. 
The Ultimate Dana 60 axle uses a 1350 series uh, U-joint size for the pinion yoke. This is a different size, size than stock uh, that would be in your JL or your JT or your JK. Uh, you will have to replace the original drive shafts in your vehicle and Dana Spicer offers bolt-in replacement drive shafts from the transfer case to the axle to do so. The Ultimate Dana 60 comes with a new uh, front gear set. It is a 10 inch ring gear diameter or 256 millimeter diameter. Uh, the gear sets available in this are high pinion and they are available in 373, 410, 488, and 538 ratios. Now that we've done an overview of the Ultimate 60 axle, we'd like to show you some of the individual components and the size comparison between your standard axle and the Ultimate 60 parts. All right, starting on the left, we have a standard Dana 44 axle shaft U-joint. This is something that a lot of people use in axle swaps and, and different things. Uh, this is the axle shaft U-joint size from the 70s, 80s, and 90s Dana 44 front axles. Uh, going uh, towards the right, we have the JK, JL, and JT Gladiator Dana 44 front axle shaft U-joint. And you can see that that's already a step up from the older, style, uh, the older style Dana 44 axles. So now we wanna give you a comparison between what would be in your axle to what you could use. This is the U-joint that Dana could have used in the Ultimate 60 axles. This is the standard Dana 60 U-joint. It's 1480 series, which is a big upgrade over stock size in the, in the JK, JT, and JL uh, front Dana 44 axles. But instead of going with this size, they decided to, to uh, even increase the strength further. And they went to the Ultimate Dana 60 U-joint size, which is 1550 series. Another, another advantage to going from 1480 to 1550 series that we mentioned in the video before is because you have a greater distance between the yoke ears, you can get a, a tighter steering angle out of a 1550 series U-joint. But as you can see, there's not really a comparison between the two uh, in strength. The Dana 44 U-joint size in your uh, uh, JK, JL, and JT front axle is 1350. This is 1550, so I mean you can see it's a huge difference in strength. Next, we wanted to go over the difference between 30 spline and 35 spline axle shafts. 30 spline would be the, st the standard uh, spline count in your Dana 44. That would be 1.31 in diameter and 30 spline. And the Ultimate 60 uses 35 spline shafts, inner and outer, chromoly, and they are inch and a half in diameter. If you hold these up, you can see the shaft comparison. Uh, it is much bigger. The next component that we wanted to show you the difference between the Dana 44 and the Ultimate 60 is the ball joints. So this would be the upper ball joint in the Dana 44 front axle. This is the upper ball joint in the Ultimate 60 axle. And here is the difference in the lower ball joint between the Dana 44 axle and the Ultimate 60 axle. And you can see that's a substantial difference in uh, ball joint strength. This has been our review on the Ultimate 60 axle. Hopefully this has given you some good information. Uh, we here at Ventures Truck Parts are Dana Spicer distributors. If you guys need parts, give us a call. Thanks for watching.